So today, uh, the Crucible team is going to talk to you about two important features coming in Season 3. Uh, both of these are available to all players of Destiny, regardless of Warmind ownership. And those are Crucible Ranks and Private Match. Uh, I'm going to open up with Crucible Ranks here. Um, so starting in Season 3, all players are going to be invited to the world of Crucible Ranks. And you're going to have a choice of two ranks, uh, which really dictate like how you're going to play and how uh, what type of investment you're going to make into the game. So... There is the Valor rank, which is a progression rank that goes up when you win, uh, or, or sorry, up when you complete matches, and winning helps you move up faster, but there are absolutely no loss penalties. This is more a reflection of your time commitment. This is something you can go in, kick back, relax, and make progress towards something. So everybody can get in and uh, rank up a little bit and kind of progress through. Absolutely. Uh, and you're going to find this rank actually featured on a quick play and uh, all of our rotating playlists. Um, and then we have the glory rank here, which Ooh. is the yes, which is attached strictly only to the competitive playlist. And this is a rank that goes up when you win and down when you lose. It's all about performance. It's all about the Ws. So if you can win, if you can close out those uh, those matches, we're gonna reward you for it. What and what do we stand to gain? What if you lose? You go down. Oh. You go down. Um, you really want to stay in the game as well because if you leave early, you're gonna get hit with the loss. Um, each rank features a form of streaking, so Valor. Uh, as you can win consecutively, you'll earn more points up to a cap, and that'll reset back streak down. Streak bonus. Correct. There's streak bonuses. Uh, Glory features the same type of streak bonus, um, uh, but it also features a lost streak, which means if you're losing a lot, it's going to hurt more. Oh. And that also caps out as well. Okay. Um, and that's there you know, to add a little bit more of the risk uh, mm -hmm. of, of, of playing a competitive match, but... I believe players who wanted this type of system wanted that type of uh, that type of risk. And um, speaking of rewards, yeah, am I getting anything other than this? These you're numbers? absolutely okay. getting stuff. Uh, so starting in season, season three, we're actually changing up the way Crucible rewards work entirely. When you go to Shacks, as you will be required to when you first uh, log in on season three, uh, you'll be presented not only with a welcome package that contains two amazing emblems. Um, but you'll also be presented with the entire slew of rewards and how and exactly how to get them. Oh, cool. Some of them are attached to reaching ranks. Some of them require reaching a rank and then completing a challenge. Something like pulse rifle kills or hand cannon headshots, sniper headshots, redeeming engrams, uh, or resetting your valor rank. Mm. So uh, if players were to max out their valor rank, they can decide if they want to to reset it, begin that journey anew. Uh, and that will actually be one tracked in an emblem, but also be uh, a way that you unlock certain rewards. So if I see somebody that has like 735 resets, we know that they've played a lot of Crucible. Yes, <laughs> and it is unkept. So you play as much as you want, play as much value as you want, earn as much value as you want, and we will showcase that. So these are the two emblems you get uh, for completing that intro uh, quest. And as you see here, uh, the Valor Season 3 emblem tracks the number of Valor ranks you've completed. So I like emblems, but is there any sort of rewards that I can actually like use? Ah, uh, yes, yes, yes. I'll get to that in just a second. Okay. <laughs> the Glory emblem here, for those of you who are interested in the Glory uh, rank, actually tracks your rank points in real time, which means this mm. is exactly how much you have slapped that on if you want to peacock a bit, show off. But yes, if you want a tangible reward, there's already a series of brand new guns that you're going to get, you're going to be able to earn from uh, completing ranks and earning ranks. But there's specifically one gun each season that we're going to deliver that's going to be the, the chase. It's for season three, that's Redrix's Claymore. And this gun is unlike many guns because it features a new perk called Desperado. So as you see here, it has its barrel traits. It has Outlaw, fan favorite, which is actually getting buffed yes. in the 1-2-0 patch so that it refreshes every headshot kill. No cooldown. And Desperado, well, that's, that's synergistic with it. So reloading while, you're, while Outlaw is active is going to increase your rate of fire. But unlike other rate of fire perks we've made in the past, this one does not lower your impact, which means you're still getting the crispy three burst. You're just getting it faster. So, wow, well, okay. <laughs> We'll yeah. see it in action. Yes, you will. <laughs> uh, this gun is attached to uh, the Fabled rank in Glory. So uh, for those of you who want to earn this, you have to set your sights on Fabled, make your way there. So we're not just giving earn. that to everybody. Absolutely not. This, this is going to okay. be, I predict, one of the harder rewards to earn. If you see somebody with this, you know they're good, and you know they've earned it. So with that said, 
let's uh, let's take a look at Private Matches. Yes, it's back. Yes, it's it. pretty insane. <laughs> uh, so uh, Private Match is back. Uh, it's everything you have known and loved about uh, the Destiny One Private Match with some of our new game modes, and we've heard the feedback for for certain about um, some of the options not necessarily fitting. Uh, people's preferences so we you know we've done things like stripped out time of day uh, and stuff like that. that so that they're more focused on game options so what are we playing today so today we're going to be playing one of the two maps which uh, one of those maps is meltdown we won't be playing that today but we will be looking at solitude solitude is a brand new map that does require war mind ownership uh, as with any uh dlc map in private match you need right. to have ownership to but actually if I'm play playing it. in the playlist good to go good to go uh, and that is actually a survival map. It's one we built for survival. It plays very well in survival. We're very excited. And we're going to play a little bit accelerated today. We're going to put rounds to win at two. Okay. Um, Team lives. Six, which is the playlist version. Uh, we sped it up a little bit uh, just to get it a little more snappy. But today we're going to be playing six. So we're going to play Solitude Survival. Uh, and we're going to show off some new sandbox stuff. Let's do it. Boom. Cool. Thanks, guys. Uh, so just to recap, uh, Season 3 delivers private matches and seasonal crucible rankings to every player of Destiny 2. Uh, we're also delivering the new crucible maps that we're releasing with Warmind. You'll be able to enjoy those in matchmaking. If you want to use them in private matches, you do need to own the expansion. So as they depart uh, toward this new match, uh, I'd like to introduce you to the final wave of developers that are in the hot seats. We final boss. Final, our <laughs> final bosses for the day are John Wesniewski.